Liberate yourself from anxiety and depression. Carolina here. I am a healer and mentor. And today we will be talking about this very important subject because there are so many people suffering from anxiety and depressions. And I want to here inspire you and help you. And so let's start. How to help yourself with anxiety and depressions. Number one, I'm really recommending you to reach out to someone who can work with you, at least at the beginning. Then when you learn new tools, how to help yourself in a daily life, you will be able to basically shifting this energy by yourself. But if you've never done any, any healing work, you've never done any inner work, it will be very hard for yourself to to empower yourself, to stay motivated, to really shifting that. And of course, you can do so much by yourself, like number one, eating healthy, eating lots of green, uh, green leaves or salads, just vegetables and um, fruit. You can use different herbs. Uh, meditation is powerful. Start meditating. Breathing is powerful. Just simple breathing sit or lie down or even stand up and just breathing just deeper breathing in and out with awareness so bringing awareness to your breath and out Bring, bringing more oxygen into your system it will help you with your nervous system and just whole energy calming down getting out of your head so meditation and breathing are powerful tools to help you with anxiety and depression. Uh, spending time with nature, so important as well. Nature is such an amazing healer. So again, going outside, connecting with Mother Nature, grounding, so important, grounding. Uh, you can do a lot with um, like journaling. So you, the, through journaling, you're really letting out of this emotion, what is happening within you. You can just write um, however you want. But however, I'm also re inviting you to work with someone where they can help you to dive deeper. And what I mean by this, start recognizing why actually you're depressed. What is in your life that is not aligned with you? Depression is coming when we don't know how to express emotions. There are suppressed emotions, trapped emotions, often trapped traumas even. Uh, so you need to learn how to start releasing that. <clears throat> Another thing is diving into yourself and start recognizing your belief system. If you have belief system like I'm not worthy, I'm not lovable, I'm not important, my needs are not important, um, it will be this will be really constantly dragging you down. So I'm inviting you to go deeper and see, recognize, acknowledge what is really happening in terms of your belief system. And what I mean by that, discovering belief system, for example, like I'm not worthy, I'm not, I don't deserve love, I'm not lovable, I'm not important, I don't belong. All these things, affecting you how you feel about yourself so what is powerful when you start recognizing that you have this belief system that is probably come from your childhood how you were treated mother father um, grandparents ancestor religion culture you know all this affected you then you need to take this next step where you start transforming this beliefs from i'm not good enough I'm good enough. I am. Uh, I'm not important, or my beliefs, my needs are not important to my beliefs and my my stories and how I feel about myself is important. My needs are important. So it's all about then taking action and start transforming those uh, limiting beliefs into empowering beliefs some stuff you can do by yourself some stuff is easy to shift just bringing awareness to that some stuff is deep and it requires deep healing 
So this is where I'm inviting you to start this healing journey and start shifting these beliefs because I promise you, you will feel better. But also having tools in your life where you can use those tools in your daily life and this will help you. So again, like I said, you can do many things by yourself, but I also recommend you to work with someone and to help you with something. I personally use energy healing and mentoring because I absolutely love that way working with people. It transformed my life. It's transforming other people. I see how quickly they are shifting and even one session with people is, is helping them to release whatever they need to release and feel better. Um, so I'm inviting you to also expand and see what other modalities can work for you. Not always the speaking therapy can help because we need to work on many different levels. On, on subconscious level, it's so important to work on subconscious level because this is where you're truly taking those weeds out of your garden and start planting uh, flowers. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, you'd like to experience this powerful healing I do, just reach out for the website you will see the difference even after one session i promise you um, and if you like this video just subscribe like comment connect with me and thank you for coming in thank you for listening and see you in the next video